हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे इज द थर्टी टू डेज ऑफ माय वेनामी श्रीम कल्चर इन द बायफ्लॉक सिस्टम इन द समर सीजन व्हिच आई हैड स्टार्टेड इन फिफ्थ ऑफ अप्रैल 2022 ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट माय वेनामी श्रीम कल्चर इन दिस समर एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग इट सो दैट इन फ्यूचर वट एवर कंटेंट आई एम गोइंग टू पब्लिश ऑन माई चैनल यू कैन ईजीली एक्सेस दोज कंटेंट्स सो फ्रेंड्स एज यू नो आई हैव गॉट फोर नंबर ऑफ टेन थाउजेंड लीटर टैंक्स एंड आई हैव बिगर वन लार्ज ओपन बाइफ्लॉक पॉन्ट दैट इज टेन लाख लीटर्स सो दिस टाइम आउट ऑफ दिस फोर टेन थाउजेंड लीटर टैंक्स आई एम यूटिलाइजिंग three tanks uh, for uh, this uh, two for shrimp culture one for uh, the fish culture this tank number 1 and 2 where i'm uh, which in which i'm uh, doing the shrimp culture and the tank number 3 i'm doing the fish culture and one more tank is there the i'm using that uh, for uh, water reservation purpose because in summer the more the evaporation happens uh, to okay so the water requirement will be more so that's the reason i kept that uh, tank as a backup for water reservation so this is the tank number 1 where i uh, stocked around 1500 pieces of vename shrimps okay so this is a completely a new experiment i'm doing in this summer so you can see today is the 32 days of my vename shrimp culture in this summer and you can uh, check out the growth the growth are quite uh, good normally in summer so you'll uh, get a very good uh, uh, growth because the temperature is maintained at its uh, recommended level more than 28 to 30 okay and uh, so far uh, in this tank uh, tank number 1 and 2 in both the tanks i have never uh, came across any sort of issues like mostly in the wiplock uh, system uh, the major issue is the tan the total ammonia nitrogen the do the ph alkanity and hardness so many issues are there but so far there is no uh, no issues i have uh, encountered uh, neither in this small 10 10000 liter tanks nor in the my bigger open wiplock pond okay so this is the tank number 1 where i stocked 1500 pieces so far everything is good and the size is around 500 to 5 g to 7 g in between that okay in, in this uh, 32 days and this is the tank number 2 where uh, i kept around the same number of quantity around 15 num number of uh, shrimps here in this tanks as well so this time i uh, stocked a little bit uh, lower quantity because my uh, experiment is uh, some i'm doing some different type of experiments okay so that's the reason which uh, i'll reveal later not now uh you can see this is the tank number 2 uh, and and you can see the shrimps are very active okay so the growth is uh, is similar to the tank number 1 so there is not major major difference is there between these two tanks okay so on an average it's uh, between 5 g to 7 g uh, in 32 days okay and uh, in this uh, tank so far no issues uh, no issues at all and in my last 3 years and 3 and a half years time i have never came across any sort of uh, diseases okay which uh, normally happens in uh, traditional form so i uh, there is no disease at all uh, i have never came across any disease issues in my uh, shrimp uh, ponds or this uh, tanks so these are the 32 days uh, growth of my uh, venami shrimps and in this two tanks so far no issues at <coughs> all everything is going uh, fine and uh, the next one is the uh, fish uh, tank uh, this is also 10000 liter tank where i'm i have stocked the the mostly tilapia and other type of fishes like uh, desi koi this vietnam koi those type of fishes are also there but this is not purely a biflock system so this is a different thing i'm trying out this time and uh, my intention uh, and i'm doing uh, some different experiment in this tank this is completely a not a biflock system and here i'm also not uh, giving them the commercial feeds so 
the feed that we prepare in our farm we are only giving those uh, feeds natural uh, okay mm -hmm. so we are not utilizing any commercial feed uh, for this species so the intention here is to check it out whether without uh, feeding the commercial feed uh, if we can uh, gain the same weight uh, in uh, three or four months time whether that can be uh, sold uh, that can be grown to the marketable size using the normal feed okay that we we are preparing in uh, in house so that's the purpose and uh, this is complete and not a biflux system and um, here also there is no issues of like uh, uh, your total ammonia nitrogen nor do nothing so so far uh, the water parameter meters are perfectly fine uh, no issues at all so apart from these uh, three tanks recently i uh, bought two uh, uh, tanks i kept it uh, uh, separately so there there is no aeration nothing it's a different uh, experiment uh, experiment where i'm growing the fishes not the shrimps i bought actually two number of uh, this uh, rectangular uh, type of tarpaulin tanks but uh, the one was faulty there is some leakage there some joint there leakage so i need to fix it so uh, this is the first tank where i um, stock the same i'm um, doing the uh, tilapia and uh, this uh, koi type of fishes in these tanks also and here i'm not using any aeration system so far and the duo level is getting maintained uh, more than 8 ppm throughout day and night on an average and uh, there is not major challenges we came across in these tanks also so far the fishes are very healthy very active they are taking and uh, in this tank also we are not uh, giving them any commercial feeds so we only fed them the the feed that we prepare uh, in our farms so no commercial feeding so this is a uh, one more uh, experiment we are doing and uh, to check uh, if our feed quality is good and that can be used uh, for a commercial level or not so in future if uh, we uh, plan such a big project whether those our own uh, feed can be utilized or, or not because the day by day the commercial feed cost is going up okay so to, to avoid that we are uh, using our own feeding now let me take you to my uh, the open 10 lakh liter open by flock pond where i will show you the venom shrimp growth on that pond as well and you can see this is uh, my fco tank this is the probiotic tank where i grow all this uh, pro bacteria here then i move to them to the uh, my tanks at the pond and this is uh, the 10 lakh liter uh, open by flock pond where i install two uh, check trays so the day uh, when i i was doing uh, recording this video so the all the shrimps they actually they are undergoing the molting phase okay so that's why you will not uh, find much uh, shrimps on the check tray so normally in molting time what happens the when the uh, shrimps undergo molting they become very inactive they uh, they like to stay on the bottom of the pond they basically become very inactive and they try to uh, hide themselves from the active shrimps okay so normally they killed, uh, get killed by the active shrimps during that phase and that phase remains around four to five days and by then they will back to normal so when this activity happens normally you will see lots of uh, scales uh, that are that were fo floating on the surface of a pond and the feed intake mm -hmm. also will be very uh, less compared to the normal days so you can see here the scales are floating here so from that uh, you can uh, you can uh, you can think that uh, the shrimps are undergoing molting phase normal molting phase they will not come up okay even to the check trays so and normally what we do so in uh, molting time we basically cut down the feeds because they normally they don't like to take much feed during this molting phase that uh, we cut down the feed and the feeding management everything uh, managed uh, by using the check trays 
this is the red color where you can say plus the plastic wares we basically install on the uh, top of the your uh, tank or pond so basically it create the when the sound sunlight uh, hits in the, the this wares it create reflection red color reflection and due to that the birds don't come to the pond okay so for that uh, bird protection we are uh, installing this threads red color reflective threads this is the check number uh, sorry the check train number two so normally what we do so we keep uh, some feed around one or two percent of feed in the check tray to check whether that feed is getting consumed within one or two times or two hours time so accordingly we do the feeding management here you can see so whoever the active streams are there who, who are not gone underground the molting phase those streams will come to the check tray and they'll take the feed but uh, those who are undergoing the molting phase they'll never come up and they'll take the feed so that's why during the molting phase, the feed consumption will be less. So all the feeding management, everything uh, will be done using this mm, check tray. So check tray is very plays very critical role in uh, shrimp farming, and we basically uh, manage our feeding schedule, everything using the check tray only. And in this pond, uh, so far there is no issues at all, and uh, so far uh, the motor, uh, the aeration uh, pump utilization is uh, very negligible. And you can see that we are not running any aeration. It's been uh, 32 days, and so far the DO is getting maintained more than 8 to 10 ppm day and night. So so far, and the water parameter is absolutely stable. So friends, this was all about uh, my Venami Shrimp culture in uh, summer. If you have any queries or any questions, you can ask me on the comment section. I'll try to respond to your queries as soon as possible. For today, thank you so much. See you soon with some new content. Take care. Bye-bye and have a good day. Thank you so much.